Here's the quickest blood DK guide for tanking. You have runes, which is essentially just a shared charge system for your abilities. Blood Strike, for example, uses one blood rune, while Death and Decay use one blood, one frost, and one unholy rune. Managing these runes is the most difficult part of playing Death Knight. Some talents give specific abilities the ability to turn a rune into a rainbow death rune, allowing, for example, a frost rune to be used as the blood rune. You also have runic power for your filler abilities and utility. These are your talents and glyph options. You got the utility build with some overpowered raid buffs, and if you for some reason don't need the utility, you can go for a more damage focused build. While actively tanking, you'll be in frost presence for increased survivability and threat generation. Your single target base rotation looks like this. Always start with Taunt or Death Grip, then Icy Touch and Plague Strike to get your diseases up. You'll refresh and spread your diseases with Pestilence. Death Strike as often as you can for big damage and healing, and Blood Strike or Heart Strike if it's talented, to keep your Blood Runes on CD for the damage reduction buff that this talent gives. But you can never let your diseases drop, which means when your diseases are at 5 seconds or less, save a Blood Rune so that you can refresh them with Pestilence. If you're out of runes and need one rune refreshed, use Blood Tap. If you need all of your runes refreshed, use Empowered Rune Weapon. Macro Rune Strike to most of your attacks and only use Death Coil if you're feeling spicy. For AoE, it's functionally the same, but you start with Death and Decay and make sure to spread your diseases with Pestilence as soon as possible. Now for your cooldowns. Anti-Magic Shell reduces income and magic damage. Raise Dead can be used for damage, but should be saved for an emergency heal using this Death Pack macro. Unholy Frenzy is a buff that gives you or a friend increased physical damage. Dancing Rune Weapon increases the damage of your melee abilities. Rune Tap is a massive heal. Vampiric Blood increases your health and healing received. And Dice Bomb Fortitude is your big cooldown, which reduces all income and damage by 30% or more if you glyph it. Did I miss something? Subscribe for more Wrath Guides.